Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use some timers like T on and T B. So let's look at the example first. Example 31. When switch is on, after 5 seconds, motor 1 will be on. And after 10 seconds, motor 2 will be on. And then after 15 seconds, motor 3 will be on. After 20 seconds, all the motors will be off. So, for motor 1 to be on for 5 seconds, we will use T on. For motor 2 and motor 3, for these two motors to be on, after 10 seconds and 15 seconds respectively, we will also use T on. And then for all the motors to be off after 20 seconds, we will use timer that is TP. So let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. Firstly, let's keep read protection as an active and write protection as an active and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab where I can select a device. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will select TM221C24R. I can click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. So I will click on yes. Then I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram. So I can also click here for a full screen mode and then I can also zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert one normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0, 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as switch 1. Yes. And then I will insert three coils. For motor one, second for motor two, and third for motor three. I will assign address to these coils as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as motor 1. Yes. And then I will assign address to the second coil as Q 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as motor 2. Yes. And then I will assign address to this coil as Q 0.2. I will also add symbol to it as motor 3. Yes. Then, so when switch is on, motor 1 will be on after 5 seconds. So I will insert a timer here. For motor 1 and that to T on. And then I will change time base to 1 second and press it as 5 second and then click on apply. 
then for motor 2 motor 2 will be on after 10 seconds so i will insert another timer for motor 2 and i will change time base to 1 second and press it as 10 and then apply and then for motor 3 motor 3 will be on after 15 seconds so i will insert another timer for motor 3 and here i will use t on and change time base to 1 second and preset it as Fifteen seconds and then click on apply then I will click on this option and connect it like this then after 20 seconds, all the motors will be off. So here we will use TP for one of for each of the motors. So I will insert another timer here. Copy and then paste it here. Then again paste. So I will change it to TP time base to second and press it as 20 and then apply. So when switch one is on, motor one will be on after five seconds and after 10 seconds, motor 2 will be on. And after 15 seconds, motor 3 will be on. And after 20 seconds, all the motors will be off. So, when switch 1 is on, motor 1 will be on after 5 seconds and for 20 seconds. And then, motor 2 will be on after 10 seconds and for 20 seconds and motor 3 will be on after 15 seconds and after 20 seconds when switch 1 is on motor 3 will also be on so i will exit full screen mode and then i will click on full screen mode and then i will add a new rank here because it says that you cannot program more than five function blocks in a same rung. So we will add a new rung here and then we will select the coil for motor 3, the TP and then T on. And then we will cut it from there and then we will paste it in another rung that is rung 1. And I will also delete this line here. And then in rung 1, I will insert one contact. I will connect it like this. I will assign address to it as I 0.0, .0. that is switch 1. So let's see what happens. I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. I will go to commissioning and launch simulator.
and then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So when I turn on search one, that is I 0, 0.0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and motor one will be on, and then 7, 8, 9, 10. After 10 seconds, motor 2 will be on, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and motor 3 will be on, and then 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Motor 1 will be off, and then 18, 19, and 20. And motor 2 will be off, and then 17, 18, 19, 20. And motor 3 will be off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.